Hi everyone, Emma here. Take a look at what I have. So these are just amazing. These arrived. They come in packages of 10. Let me show you. I have my two favorite ones here. So these are ordered in packages of 10 and they come in a Ziploc baggie like this. And they are incredible. These are probably my two favorite. And I will most likely order some more because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bunch of tassels, beaded tassels, uh, for the summer. So I think this is a lovely summery color. Um, yeah, it's this is like a peachy pink. So let's take a look at So there's this one. And they come, each one are individually wrapped in this lovely sleeve, which is great. Let me see if that's in focus here. There we go. Comes in this lovely sleeve, which is great for when you're working on your tassel. You can just slide it down like this and work on your tassel. Usually around here is where you do your work. And you can leave this on so that the the little um, threads don't get all damaged and messed up and staticky and stuff like that. And the other thing I did notice uh, when I was working on one, I had one that had been put away for years and was all bent and crooked and crazy. I went ahead and wet it in the sink and... Uh, try to squeeze out as much water as possible. I put some conditioner, um, some leave-in conditioner on the, the fibers and uh, that prevented it from going all crazy all over the place and staticky. So just a little tip there. So I'll show you and here's the blue one. So I went ahead and took them all out so you could see the different colors. So this seller, I will post a link for this seller because this, this is the array of colors. I picked, I got 10 of each color. You're not going to believe they're only $2.60 Canadian for 10 of these tassels. So to me, that's an incredible deal. So this is the blue one. It's the light blue. There's actually three blues. Look at this. That is amazing. Really, really beautiful. They're just the right thickness in the... Now, you can see some differences. So this here, this part here is shorter than these here. Um, and the tassel itself is a bit shorter. So they must get it from a different distributor. So, uh, but this is probably the one with the most discrepancy is this one here. So not really a big deal for me. Um, and especially at that price point, that's something else. Then we have these pinks and they are just beautiful, beautiful. Then we have some reds. So there's two types of red, so it's great. There's like the standard kind of typical red, and then this is more of a scarlet red. And then we have some purples. This is actually more of a pink fuchsia color. But I put it in with the, let's go by light to dark. So there's those colors. And then there was a yellow. So I could put some flowers in here, decorate this like a, I don't know, like kind of 70s style. And these here are gold colors. So there's a dark gold and a light gold, kind of like the, the Casey gold in the other. And then we have a cream color white and this is supposed to be silver too and you can see in this part here like the when they do this it's really shiny now for what I'm using it for you're not going to see that at all you might not even see the top here's the other thing I should show you 
is how they have it tied off. So they've done a really good job. It's really neat. And so the knot is hidden inside. So you have a nice loop if you want to use this. For what I'm doing it for, I don't use these, so it's not a big deal, but it makes this part easy to conceal. I would conceal that underneath the tassel in through there because I will show you what I do with my tassels. Then we have three different greens. There's uh, like a forest green, a hunter green, and a primary green. Beautiful. I should show you what they look like outside of the wrappers. Just one sec. So then there's a light brown, dark brown, and a black. And it's hard to tell the difference between these two. So let me get out the pink and I'm going to take the, the wrapper off of it. I'm sorry I didn't even think of that. I'm so used to not taking them out. Look at how beautiful these are. They're lovely. Like that's how a tassel should sit. It's like heavy and you know, so it's not sticking out everywhere. Beautiful. And to put that back in the sleeve, you just thread your cord through like that. And pull it over the top and slide that back on until you're ready to use it. So this was the first one I made of this. So you can imagine my skill level <laughs> is not that great. And this was the first one. And what I did, you can see this is a big tassel. I put two smaller tassels. I got some tassels from BB Craft. They were, pardon me, but they were garbage. <laughs> But they couldn't have been too much garbage because I put two together and this is what they look like. The The way they were tied on the top was terrible. They were so super thin. And uh, I didn't pay for them because they sent them to me with some other things for a review. Um, but I put two together to make this. But anyway, what I'm saying is I will be doing some videos on this. These are so easy to make. And look at how beautiful they are. They're stunning. These are all Swarovskis. Even the uh, the drops are Swarovski. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I wish I had bought more of these. I was like, oh, when would I ever use them? And look at... <laughs> now that's all I want to do is make these. This is so simple. You start out with right angle weave. And then you just thread the beads across and go through this, the, the middle bead. Very, very easy. But you can see I don't need the tassel, the string at the end, because you're going to use some wire to attach it to your mala or your necklace, however you do it. So that's that. I, I made that one, and I made one for a giveaway. So that one's long gone, and I haven't made any since. So I'm getting ready to make a whole bunch of them. Hopefully I'll have some done for the garage sale. But look, at this is the start of one. I used four millimeter um, miracle beads. Aren't they crazy? They go amazing with this. So this is just right angle weave. And then when you get to where it's wrapped around, you add these two little beads to attach it together. So you add this one and that one. And then you start weaving stuff. And it's endless what you can do. You can cover, you can just do this part here and that's it. You can do all of this like I did in the last one and then all the tassels on the and there's tons of stuff on Pinterest showing you different design ideas so you can see how this would become very addictive. This would be a gorgeous addition to say a wooden a long kind of boho summery beach necklace and I pulled out the turquoise one because I got these beads from um, the beading room. They were 
cut um, check beads. So they're kind of uneven and stuff and I wanted to see if I could do peyote with them and actually there is a lot of space in between you can kind of see but you know what for this situation this is what I'm going to use it for so I'm going to do my tassel this way I might do, do it a bit higher I'm realizing this is probably too big for this one but so there's that so I still have a few rows to go on the back before I add it together. And then I did the cream one with some of my Delicas and did peyote. And this one's ready to go to attach. So this is what it would look like. And you just, so I think... I might need one more row in here but you do want it super tight because this kind of holds on and doesn't move after that but look at that that's going to be amazing so yeah there's lots of fun things you can do with these tassels so let's take a look at the rest of the unboxing from aliexpress put those there Hopefully nothing falls down. Take a look. I'm just going to grab things. These are... I think these are not glass. It, hard to say, actually. They feel heavy. So they may be glass. But uh, these are... Rhinestones, I guess they call them. And they have four holes. And I'm hoping to do some bracelets with this. Put that together would be really nice. So these are kind of nice. This, uh, this was a long time coming. I had ordered this some time ago. But they're beautiful. Look at how sparkly they are. Yeah, that's going to be really amazing if you dress it up with some other things. Just look awesome. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve in a package. And I'm not sure. I'd have to look up. Oh, there's more. <laughs> I thought it was a weird number. Twelve. Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 20 in a pack. That sounds more like it. I've ordered stuff from this blingin' box before. Um, I would say they're good. I wouldn't say they're the best quality. They're, they don't, like, super overwhelming. But I'll tell you what, I mean, everything about it looks really good. It's nice and clean on the back and smooth. It's not rusted. And, um, the gemstone has... This one is cracked. I was going to say there's no blemishes, but that looks cracked to me. It could be like glue or something. No, it's cracked on the inside. But for the most part, they're great. So they're that's a win in my books. Let's see if I have them all. Okay, these came today. So these have been popping in back and forth oh these are lovely so let's see let's get closer <laughs> we're gonna get some small stuff here look at these guys they're really pretty so these are pinch bales they're leaf pinch bales so there is a bunch of them let me see three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 in a bag. And I got the three different colors. So the rose gold, the regular gold. This one doesn't look like there's as many. That's two. 
four, six, eight, ten. Fourteen in this bag. I wonder if they gave me extra on that one. I was kind of surprised that there was 20 in that bag. I'm wondering if these were sets of 10 and they just... Oh, this one looks... So the silver is really pretty. That is lovely. They are amazing. I wonder how... Oh, they're really strong, so you'd need your your pliers for this, for sure. So let's see, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 12, 14, 16, So I'm gonna have to report the missing ones. This looks like they're sets of 20. You can tell just by looking at the bag. So that's pretty common. I just do a dispute and I do a picture so I would probably take a picture of everything and actually I think I wonder if it will let me do a picture during this video I hate to try it cause <laughs> yeah I better not I was gonna like let me take a picture that did it okay cool I don't know what that looks like for the filming of the video but so yeah I just submit the picture and uh, just fill in all the blanks and I usually request a refund for a percentage of what's missing and uh, I I think if you're reasonable that and again it's done by a computer uh, program so I'm guessing after a certain amount of money it might have to get approved by somebody but I've never had any problems in the couple of years I've been doing. Well, I say a couple of years. It's only been a year. <laughs> so that's those guys. And then this guy showed up yesterday. Let's see what we have in here. This, oh, okay. This one has, the bag is open. So I've bought these ganache for the yoga community and I saw that they had them and they had, let me see here, they had the antique ones too. So they had the antique copper and the antique silver. And um, what I'm going to do is do some patina with the swelligant patina on these guys. So these are lovely. This is what it looks like in the back. So it's hollow. And if you did uh, polymer clay, you could do a relief of this. It's incredible, the detail. I think it would be so cool to do a polymer clay one. They're pretty light because they're hollow, but they're also very big. So, you know, these are definitely kind of in the lane of a pendant. And this would be for, say, a mala or something, or some type of yoga-style jewelry. This is the... These guys, they're gorgeous. Oh, yeah, these are going to be amazing. And put some patina on this. It would look amazing. Really awesome. So I'm really excited about these. Most of this stuff, like on average, I don't pay any more than $3 Canadian for something. That's probably my watermark when it comes to stuff off of AliExpress. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <sighs> I was out for a bike ride today, so my allergies are really hard. So these are gorgeous. Yeah, so $3 is kind of my watermark for stuff. If I pay more than $3, um, it's something I really want and is really good. So you can guess 
when you look at these things, they're between $2 and $3. Um, this seller <laughs> sends me one of these things. This is like a good luck thing in in China, I think, and in India, and especially um, like when you buy Indian stuff, because this stuff is the uh, the goddess uh, Ganesh. So it, there's like offering of food and whatnot. So it's good luck to put it in there. It's good luck for the person that put it in as well as the person that's receiving it. So I think that's cute. I like it. It's always kind of cute when you get something like that. These are amazing. These are connectors and they are like flower mandala connectors. Look at how beautiful they are. So the inside ones, there's a bit of the metal is not quite um, cut out all the way through. But you know what? It's so small, you can't see that. You really have to. And that's just the one. This one here looks perfect. You can see my finger through. Oh, there's there's a little bit on the edge there, down here. But there, it's beautiful. So I would put some of these, make some beaded chain with this, and then maybe a matching bracelet. Or use these this way for earrings. Put a little drop on the bottom and then simple, simple. We should leave these out for Brittany's uh, earring challenge. And look at, there's a ton of these. So these may have been a little bit more expensive, I'm guessing, because there's so many of them. But I'll have to check. But that, there's a lot. I think there's 50 in here. So I'll have to check on that one. I'll put this one aside. Then we have these guys. So I have been ordering a bunch of these. I love them. Love, love, love them for bracelets. They are super cool. Just these, the price averages between 80 cents and $1.20. Canadian so that would probably be somewhere in the between 50 cents and a dollar for Americans but these are amazing so this is the part that hooks into the clasp and then you have the other side so really nice this is like so much easier for people that have problems with their fingers so. And they're, you know, they're inexpensive quality. They're not the, you know, you can get these where they're silver. So you can see that the metal has changed colors underneath. But they're lovely. Look at that. Those are going right in my with my uh, findings and look at these oh so you'll be seeing some more of these I ordered them from different sellers too just to try and get different prices and so let's see how this one looks oh this one's pretty good They're really, really beautiful. Then we have some of these fold overs. So I had some crimp uh, cord ends, and then I saw these guys, and I'm like, oh, these are amazing. So let's see. I have some leather here. Let's test it out on the leather find the end there it is so you can see let's clip that a lot of my leather now the ends have findings on them because I do this and I never take them off I'm like oh I'm gonna use them in a bracelet so I'm just gonna leave them 
let's take a look. So, let me see. This stuff here, there's like little bumpy ridges. Now, I don't know. I think they're bump. I thought they were supposed to be bumpy on the inside, but it looks like it's the outside. And I'm guessing this is how it's done. So you might want to correct me if I'm doing this wrong. So you fold this piece over like that. And then get the flat nose pliers here. So I'm just going to squeeze that a bit like that. So fold that with my nail and then fold a bit on that side. And oops. I don't know if it'll fold properly because it looks like it slid off. Let's see if I can. So I think it's a bit awkward because it's the thick leather. I'm using two millimeter leather. If you were using cord, that would fold nicely. So you can see it's kind of wonky on the one side. See how it's open and it's closed on the other. So you might want to like gently ease it on one side than the other so that you get even pressure on both sides. But you know what? Even at that, it still looks really good. And it's not going anywhere. Look at this. Let's try and pull this off. That's not coming off that leather. I'm pulling really hard. So that is amazing. Very nice. I'm so glad I got these. There's one more roll of leather that's got a finding on it. So these are lovely. And they're super small. So just enough for one or two pieces of leather. And I got some different, this is a bigger one here. I might have to try it on another piece of leather. So yeah, this is a bigger one. And I apologize, I was working, doing earrings with crazy glue and the leather stuck to my finger. <laughs> So it took some of the dye off. So let's just fold that a bit. See if it works better with the bigger different color leather. Can you tell I was working with leather today? So we'll try and put that in the middle. We'll fold it like that. Let's try this side first. And turn it a bit. Hold that. This one actually worked a lot better. But I think I'm learning. Oh, look, it's got the, it's got the little prongs, the little teeth. So if you put two strands through that, it would poke the strand. But as it is, it's, it's on there. It's not moving. That is amazing. Oh, I like it. Very nice. Sweet. Definitely going to use these guys. So that's the larger gold, and then I got some antique gold ones. Let's see if we can see. 
Yeah, there's the teeth there. So let's fold that down a bit. Lovely. And we got some silver. Oh, we got the small. So we actually, I did get the small of everything. So I got the small and the medium of everything. So here are the silver ones. And they're very basic, but they do the job, as you can see. If you're doing some macrame stuff, that would be really cool. I do have some macrame designs that I've done that are super cool that maybe I'll revamp this summer. So this is the small one. The small is nice and dainty. There's two here. Prongs, that's awesome. And then the small. So that is amazing. That is awesome. I'm glad. Got that. Let's put these guys away. And we have more stuff. Oh my gosh, I didn't even look at this one. Normally I look at stuff and I price it out. The next bunch after this one I've uh, priced out for you. I don't know if it's going to make sense. I did it a couple of days ago. Let's start with, oh they sent me, look, a gift. That's lovely. Put that on my desk. Let's see if we can get the same stuff out. Okay, we'll start with these. So I've been kind of collecting and ordering stuff to make some Bridgerton style jewelry. Now they're they're Edwardian is what I should be saying with a modern twist for sure. So I bought some of these already and when I saw how stunning they were I went ahead and bought some more and that's what they look like. They're lovely and you can take these and fold them over They're super easy to fold. And just kind of work it out. Something like that. Now you have one. 3D leaf. I mean, I would maneuver it a bit so that it's a little more in place, but you get the idea. So these are beautiful, and this is what they look like. And you could add them to, I don't know, something like this. I have some other stuff here. Ah, here. So this one here has some leaves on it. You could add some jewelry. Yeah, these are beautiful. Definitely worth, if this is something you're interested in doing, definitely worth buying. They're lovely. So I got the rose gold as well. on the back. And some silver.
silver. Beautiful. And we have these guys. So these are like chandeliers. Let me see if I can find the different ones. It should be a gold. There we go. So these are beautiful. So they have um, a circle here, like a loop here, and then one here so you could dangle something here. And then we have five. This one's crooked. Let's see if we can straighten that out. There. Oh, that felt like it broke. It did. Oh, it's not actually broke. What it is is this piece here is not attached to the other side. That's all. That's fine. This is beautiful. And that's what it looks like on the back. Wow, these are amazing. And there is... Let's see how many is in the package. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is amazing. They're beautiful. So let's take a look at the two different golds here. This is exciting. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know which side. I think they're even. So they could probably use both sides. They're pretty standard to both sides. Wow. They're gorgeous. Then we have... Look at this one. Wow. Oh, this one's really damaged. So we'll put those aside and inspect them. There's one. So I'll do a I'll do a dispute for sure on this one because this is not usable. But wow, look at these guys. <laughs> They're so amazing. <laughs> yep, just in time for earring uh, challenge from Brittany. <laughs> so let me know if you're doing the earring challenge. So let's put this one. There were so Something I had. Oh, okay, those leaf ones need to. I'll put those with that and inspect those guys. Let's move this here. Okay, then we have some more chandelier top style. Those. Take a look at the silver one. So I tend to get all color, all the three colors. Oh my God, look at the, this is amazing. What? You know what's going in these Swarovskis. Oh my gosh. But, and you know what? I probably do have one this size to go in the middle. Oh wow. These are amazing. I would just totally wear these every day just to annoy people. <laughs> like, you like my earrings? Look, they're so sparkly. <laughs> Actually, it would annoy my wife more than anything. Oh, the things I do to annoy her. So much fun. There's, these are lovely. This is what it looks like on the back. But you've got one, two, three that you can dangle stuff from. And then you've got 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that you can put flat backs on. And because the middle one is hollow, and so is this one, you could actually, depending on what you have, put a regular crystal in those spots. So that is super cool. Wow. I've been, these took a while to get here, like at least a month, if not two months. These are the yellow gold. They're beautiful. Wow. Then we have some more chandeliers, but these ones are flat and they're lotus flowers. Oh, and there's another one that's damaged. Get one that's not damaged so you can look at it. So I would probably patina this. I feel like it's a bit too stark and shiny. But there's lots of little grooves in there so the patina would sit really nicely. So these would be awesome. So I think I'm going to do some inspecting of these. Normally I get busy and I move on to something else so I don't look at what's been unboxed until I go to put them away and then I realize things have to be reported. So I'm gonna have to make sure I do that quick. So this is the regular, this is the rose gold one. And it's hard for you to see because the they're so shiny. That's a good thing, but they're beautiful. Put those there. Some more chandeliers. There. Those have to be. There's the other chandeliers. So again, three colors. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh my God, they're so chunky. Look how thick they are. These are gorgeous. Wow. I think we need to take one of each color out at the same time so you can see them in their beauteousness. <laughs> can you tell it's late at night? I'm getting silly. Wow, these are stunning. Look. Oh, they're so beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. You can see how thick they are. That's amazing. These, I think, are connectors. No, nope, they're... So there's a loop at the top. There's a hole there so you could dangle something in here and then one at the bottom so you could dangle something at the bottom. So these would be awesome for earrings, but you could use it as a pendant as well. But you could also, like if you were doing a necklace and you put a few of these across with some crystals, dangling crystals or drops, or you could clip this off and use it as a connector to make some beaded chain. I think that would be lovely. Some silver. There's the silver. Just gorgeous. They're nice and chunky, look. There we go. That's the rose gold. Beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to use these. 
I was so excited about doing some of this stuff and then it took so long for it to get here I've moved on to other things but I think it's time to do some more and I ordered these before and I ordered some more and I'm so glad I did so I'm just looking to see why there's not a silver so I'll have to check my order because I usually order the different colors and I should show you what I've done with these already. So this is these guys. And they are super skinny. So they are easy. I mean, I can't do it with my hands. Maybe that way. But you could bend these to create different things. But let me show you what I did with this. So here's the silver one. That's why I'm surprised I don't have ordered silver in here because when I bought these initially I was like I have to order more. These are incredible. So this is what I did. I had these flowers that didn't have, this is what the flower looked like on the back. There's no holes or anything. So I just glued them on to that. Now there's a hole at the top and a hole at the bottom and a hole on each side. So you can, you can do it this way like a beaded chain kind of necklace with these guys or you could do a pendant just like that or some earrings so this is these are pretty cool there's the gold going there and we'll put these guys just put there See what else we have. You know what I think is they. S I don't know. There's like two of the same thing. I don't know if that's supposed to be a different color. So uh, gold. I'll have to check my order so this is these guys and these are super tiny so these would be lovely for earrings and you could actually because they're so small it's do so many things with this so you could hang them this way as an earring and then put something here something here and something here little crystals or a tiny little bead or you could do something like this and attach like a beaded chain hook onto this one and hook onto this with the bead in the middle you could probably attach it on the sides too but yeah so there's different options you have this is what it looks like. These are just pressed, so you can see they're quite hollow and light. And you could always, if you want it to be a little more substantial, put two of them together. There's actually three there, now that I see that. There. Beautiful. There's a whole bunch of these. There's a bunch of different colors. Let's take a look at the different colors. There's the rose gold. You know, probably one is the Casey gold and one is the regular gold. But there's not much difference in them. Let's get the other one out so we can see if there's a difference. This is like a matte gold, actually, so you can see a difference, but color-wise, not really. One's shiny and one's matte. And then the silver.
Ta-da. Beautiful. You know, I was making earrings today and I was thinking to myself, this is pretty cool that I have all this stuff that I can make this and not have to think about, you know, oh gee, I have to order stuff. It finally occurred to me that I probably have too much stuff. I probably tipped the balance from that time where you say to yourself, oh, I can't make anything. I don't have all the different components to the point where now when I make things, I get so squirreled because I have so much stuff that I don't know where to go. Look at these. So these are incredibly dainty and kind of inexpensively made without saying the C word. They're kind of cheap. But you know what? They're cute. And I'm sure you could do something really nice. Had some super tiny jump rings to add some little things to that and make some earrings with these guys or add it to a necklace. So well, I got the three different or the four different uh, metals. These are they're pretty amazing for what they are, but look at how tiny this is my let's do it on my baby finger. Look at that how tiny it is. So I would probably take these and put a couple of these on, say, some, add it to some type of earring so that it dangles. They're more like an accent than they are the main piece. So there's that one. And then the other is the non-shiny gold. And then I bought these, and I feel like maybe the last ones and these were kind of an impulse buy because now I'm like, mm, I don't know. These are crap. Maybe not. Oh, actually, they're kind of nice. <laughs> Sorry, I take that back. <laughs> they're not crap. <laughs> don't listen to me. They're super, super thin. They're just pressed metal. But what they've done at the front, they're supposed to be uh, feathers. You can see the little lines in it. So if you put these correctly on a necklace and dangled them, a whole bunch of them, like in a line kind of thing, it would look beautiful. That's a good recovery, isn't it? <laughs> you know, it's funny. Sometimes I say things. And it comes out, and I'm like, I wish I hadn't said that. And then, go figure, those are the things people comment on. <laughs> oh, you missed all the shiny stuff. <laughs> you remember the comment I made? These are really tiny. Look. Okay, we'll go back to my baby finger. That's my gauge. So I measure in fingers. 're definitely usable but mm, we'll see we'll see what we can come up with with these guys It'll be a challenge clearly I bought them because I saw them in a design and said I need some of those so <laughs> that's it for that haul so let's just push that aside and let's start digging in the box here this is what we have going on here and I did put this stuff with prices but I don't know if I can manage to follow the prices so let's take a look at these guys yeah they're it's all over the place Let's start with this, these guys. 
can move this back. So this came in a card and already I've taken two of them and glued them to some stiff stuff because I'm going because these are glue-ons they're not there's no holes so I thought I'd put some stiff stuff to get ready to use them in a bracelet this is what they look like that so there's nothing to no holes so yeah that's why I put them on those were two dollars and sixty seven cents for twelve Let's see what else we have here then I have some more sliders these came today. Look at these guys. They're big. And there's three holes. This would be good for memory wire. There's a nice big holes and nice and spread apart so you could put your memory wire and do some really cool stuff. So yeah, I love having these sliders. So you could put them together with pearls. And I don't have a price on those. Let me see if I I do have prices on the own one. These are ohm beads and there was twenty so these were expensive twenty for five dollars and sixty cents. I think what it was is they were ten for um two dollars and eighty cents. So I bought, they're beautiful. I love them. I needed some more and they're two sided. So these are lovely. I needed some more metal beads. So that's why I went ahead and got those. Then we have the, You know what? I think these, sorry, these were $4.30 for 40. Mistake. It's these ones that were 20 for $5.60. They're quite a lot bigger. And they're two-sided as well. They're beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So yeah, sometimes doing the prices doesn't really help. Okay, these chandelier, there was 40 for $2.70. I love these. I think I'm going to order some more. They're amazing. And I would call these two-sided because look at, you could do the other side nice and plain. I don't know if your earrings would dangle properly, but I would put some chain up here on an angle. And then have them. Yeah, these are beautiful. You could put them in a necklace like this, a whole bunch of them in a line. Now I have these. They're okay, so these are oval frame spacers and they were fifty cents at two dollars and fifty cents. For 50. These are cool. So you put your bead inside. These are really nice. So I got the antique gold and the silver. And there's probably more in there. I'm pretty sure I got gold as well. There's the silver one. There's the gold.
they are beautiful. Just checking to see if the hole goes all the way through yet. Yeah. Really nice. They're lovely. They're just the right size. They're kind of dainty. They're going to look amazing. Then we have the Ohm Mandela. So for 10 pieces, it was $4. This is an amazing deal. Look at these guys, how big they are. They're gorgeous. And because the lotus leaves, you could put stuff anywhere to dangle it. Just gorgeous. And look at how thick it is. So I was impressed. Ten of these for four dollars. Oh, some pinch bales. Two dollars and thirty-eight cents. They're nine millimeter pinch bales. And there's I think 50, no, there's probably a hundred in here. There's a lot. Look at these guys. So I kept putting this in my cart and taking it out because of the little bumpiness in it. And I was like, oh, I don't know. But you know what? After a while, I was just like, ah, for that price, just get them and see what they're like. So they're super strong. You would definitely need your pliers. And I don't know if that would bend properly. It doesn't seem like it would fold in the middle. Let's see if I have something I could hook it on to. Just do this. And Yeah, it's folding. Works well. That's awesome. I mean, I would, if you were going to fold it that close, I would clip the end a bit so that it didn't, so it would actually meet. That's beautiful. So that was a deal. See if we can find the gold ones. I think I see them actually. Yep. So the gold are like a dark gold. They're really cool. They are really nice. That's awesome. Cool. There is a ton of these guys. They're super duper deal birds. So this was uh, $3.30 for 10 and I use these in my bird bracelets. And I was so excited when I saw they had this color because I actually do one that's with all these findings, the antique gold. So they are beautiful. Let's see what else I have here. The Wave Charm, there's 50 in the bag for $5.25, and it's rose gold. I have a bunch of these in silver. They're lovely, and I have two sizes in silver. I have this size, and then I have like an 18 mil size. Maybe it's a 25 mil. That is beautiful. And then, I don't know if I wrote these ones out. Yep, 
yeah, I don't, I don't think I wrote these. These are those weights that you put at the end of the chains, the jump chains. So this is the antique gold. They're quite heavy. Wasn't expecting them to be that heavy, but we'll see. And I got a mixed color. I probably figured that I wouldn't be using that many of them, so that's so why I got the mix. But so there's silver is nice and shiny, and then the gold is nice and shiny too. So actually, I, the gold doesn't feel as heavy. Well, I guess it is. You know what? They're not that heavy. I think it's just because I had a whole bunch in my hand. These are nice. So these will look at used for sure. And we have crosses. So 60 crosses was $2.54. These are all Canadian prices, by the way. So these are amazing. So this is what it looks like on the front side. And they're probably meant to go this way on a chain or on a bracelet and then this is what it looks like on the other side and you could probably put it on this way too you might want to bend it back but so these are really nice just a nice dainty size too gold beautiful that's lovely we have more we have more jump rings let's see if these are closed or open yeah, they're open. They're lovely. So I've been trying to build up my stash and jump rings because what I was using was old jump rings that I bought that were super cheap and not very durable. So I'm trying to build it up. So these are nice. Lonely antique gold. That's awesome. You can see they're nice and thick. Like a maybe a between an 18 and a 15 gauge. And then some more pinch bales. These are fancy ones, bigger ones. Wow, these are nice. Holy I'm like looking at them. Where did I get these? I'm supposed to help you guys figure out where to get them. I'm like, where did I get these? These are amazing. It's too bad that it takes so long to get here because I forget. So both the pinch bale and the actual bale, like it's flat, but it's still like I've gotten some that this piece here is so thin that you could probably cut yourself on the edge. It's just ridiculous. But this is really nice. They're beautiful. Wow. The silver ones look just as gorgeous as the gold ones. Even the wrapping, the paper is a little thicker than the cheap stuff you usually see. Makes I I find you know that it says something about the quality. This one's a bit bent, but these are easy. They they're super soft, so yeah, you can move this with your hand. So they're gorgeous, lovely.
<laughs> I know you guys have been waiting for this. These guys. <laughs> These guys. So, I thought I'd put some out, but I must have. Let's take one in. Yeah, there's one of these. So that's these guys. So these, let me give you a price on these guys. This one was $5.05 for 10 pieces. Yeah, so some of these were a little more expensive. Yeah, and these are flat on the back, so these are glue-ons for sure. Not a problem. You can figure that out. So that's those guys there. I got two sets of everything, and then I got these guys. These are stunning. These were five dollars and forty-eight cents. Look at these. Oh, isn't that crazy? Again, it's flat on the back. So, but there are some spots to put things in between the holes if you need to. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Look at that. That's crazy. Wow, I still can't get over these. Then we have the leaves. So the leaf one, so $5. And, so all of these were in the $5 range so I have one out of these that I glued on to a stiffy that's this one here but I need to show you the back so that's that and that's the back. Ta da! That's just like on the stiffy. So these are really nice. I, th I really like these. It leaves it open for what I can do with it. Because it has a little more, because of the leaves, a little more organic feel to it. So that's Guys. Then we have these. So I, so what I did was they had a bunch of other colors. I went ahead and picked the colors that I thought would look good because some colors looked a bit gaudy to me. But look at that. That is beautiful. And then we got pink. Just beautiful. And then blue. I said I got two of each. I didn't. There was only some of them that I got two of. But these blues are beautiful. Let's see what it looks like with the background. Beautiful. So you can see through the spaces. And look at how sparkly that is. That's incredible. And then green is really pretty too. That's gorgeous. Okay. Then we got some stars. So I wanted to make some summer beachy malas and use some of this kind of howlite, pressed howlite to intersperse through them. So to make it like a really beachy feel to it with a big beautiful tassel. So I think this these would go great. These were... Um, three dollars a strand and let's take a look how long this strand is so this was 
amazing. That is one strand. So it is there's twelve and so sixteen inch strand. So there's the white. So I got two of each and the turquoise. They're nice and thick. These are gorgeous. And then the multicolor ones. Look at that. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Just lovely. After I make all these, I'm going to have to do another garage sale to sell them in. <laughs> and then these stars. These are like starfish. And these were the same $3 a strand. These are shorter strands, maybe? No, they're 16 inch strands. So I got one of each there. These are lovely. <gasps> Look at these. Wow, these are really cool. Very kind of organic feel to it. I love these. I'm like a little kid. I love this. <laughs> Look at these are crazy. Oh, you know what? I would so go back and order the different colors. Like this color here is amazing. And the purple is really cool too. These are really fun. And then the whites. Wow. Looks like coral. That's amazing. So this is this crazy haul. <laughs> thank you guys for joining me I hope that wasn't too annoying, boring whatever, silly <laughs> that's fun it's been fun take care everybody and I'll see you in the next video